and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So for today, I thought we'd do a fun quarterly update video. So I'm going to do one of these every quarter. So um, this is first quarter of the year, which um, I split them up. It's three by three months. So you'll get one in March, one in June, one in September, and my end of the year one at the end of December. So, um, I, everything I have for you is up until March 15th. Um, I didn't go any further than that. So this is like what I've colored so far as of, to, as of that day and everything. But if you're new, welcome. Um, uh, I'd love to have you join us. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, this is my coloring journal in case you didn't know. And I like to keep track of everything. And I mean everything. So I have this fun little sheet that has some fun little stats for us. So this is 2024 first quarter update. As of right now, I use an app called Book Buddy. Um, it's really easy. I could do probably a really short video and show you how to use it. If you're wanting, if you're interested, let me know in the comments below. I don't think this is accurate because um, I have not added all of my PDF coloring books into here. So this is mo mostly my physical books. So um, I have 670 coloring books and 318 of them are untouched, which happens to be less than 50%. So yay, that's a good thing. So that is so far, that is what I have as of, like I said, March the 15th. I have completed 124 pages so far. Um, I have colored out of 49 different coloring books since uh, January 1st. Um, 14 of those 49 were untouched. I need that number to be bigger. <laughs> I have colored 35 Disney pages so far. 59 uh, buddy color pages. And out of those 59, 36 different buddies. And 11 of those 36 are brand new buddies for me as of January 1st. And I have filmed 42 videos so far this year. So, and then this is just for me to keep track of, but I thought I'd share it with you because I think it's fun. And again, as, as of March the 15th. So, and this is as of January 1st. So as of January 1st, I had 24, 28 YouTube subscribers. I currently have 2732, so I have gained 304 subscribers. On Instagram, I started with 1845. I am currently at 1941. I gained 96. I need to work on that one. I'm not very good at posting on there. I am trying really hard. I really am. I put all of my time and energy into YouTube. <laughs> Um, I need to broaden my social media face and my Facebook group, Facebook group, um, that I co-host with Amanda from Amanda colors. We started off the year with 2031. We are currently at 2550. That is amazing. We have gained 519 friends in our group. If you have not joined us, we'd love to have you. It is a fun group. We have something fun going on almost every day of the week. Anywhere from scavenger hunts to title page Tuesdays to uh, whip Wednesdays. We do all kinds of fun things um, and sh talk about fun uh, coloring things. And yeah, so if you haven't already checked us out, you should come check us out and join us. We'd love to have you. So that is it for the stats. Now I have um, some coloring books next to uh, me. So I'm going to start with the um, books that are color alongs that I have. Um, so these are full book color alongs that are um, or have hashtags on Instagram. So I'm going to zoom out just a hair. Um, there will be a glare. I do apologize, but I didn't want to take them out. So this is Frogs and Friends 1. I have not done a full flip through video. This book is now complete. So here um, we have all of the pages that we have colored so far. We just recently started Frogs and Friends 2. I co-host this with Amanda from Amanda Colors. Isn't he so cute? I really, really love 
these books. Um, this is by Chris Reiniak, by the way. Um, you now can get this, comes as one book. It's, I think, one and two together um, on Amazon. Otherwise, you can get the books separately as a PDF on bindlewood.com. But I just thought it would be fun for you guys to see my progress. So you will be seeing some spoilers if I've colored it yet already. So you guys know. And there. And now we have started Frogs and Friends 2. So excited. And we are coloring this page. Um, the next one I have is my Romantic Country, The First Tale. This is a color along that I am doing on the channel here. We are going through this book together. It is a full book color along. And we have, these are the pages we have colored so far together. I started, was going from beginning to end, but then I did not do that one anymore. Um, hopefully I will get this one done. Let's see what we have. I didn't put tags in any of them, so we're gonna be flipping through books. Cause that was gonna take up a lot of tags. We did this one. We recently did this one here. I left this in there, I don't think I need to. I don't remember why I left it in there. And then we've done these two pages we did this one we did this one that's it and I think for April I'm gonna go back since Easter is the very last day of March I think we'll do this Easter egg page for April's page. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So yeah, so that is Romantic Country by Erie. Um, the next one is The Way Home by uh, Morgan O'Brien. This is a full book color along that um, is hosted by Joanna, Jojo Zohanna here on YouTube. She is also on Instagram. She picks a page out of this book each month and we are almost done with this book. So yeah, I mostly use alcohol marker as you can see. This one is pencil. So cute. I love this book. He had to take it off of Amazon, I think, due to copyright issues, but you can get it on his Kofi. And it is free, but um, I suggest that there is a place where you can give a tip. I do highly suggest that because this is his hard, hard work here. So fun. I would tell you what I colored used on all of these, but I don't remember. I really, really don't. This is my favorite. I think the porks are so cute. I have not colored this month yet. This one is pencil. I had to cover it up because I didn't put the paper in the back behind the right page. So this one had stuff all over it and you can't tell. This one he's saying, may the force be with you. And also if you're new, I like to put hidden Mickeys in all of my completed pages. There's one right there. Oh, maybe I did color this month. I did. There it is. So I believe we have one, 
to three. Oh, I only have three pages left. That's exciting. So that is The Way Home by Morgan O'Brien. The next one I have is um, Cute and Crazy Critter Village Coloring Book, The Fox Family by Fern Brown. This one is a full book color along hosted by Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. Um, any channel that I mention, I will put in the description box below. She picks a page out of this book each month. This was my fun um, disco, very bright and shiny. This was last month's. And then let's see. There's this one. This one, um, I couldn't help but sing the Candyman Can song. By the way, um, I had to be Nurse Megan this last week. Um, my dad had a procedure done, so I took care of him. And he has this amazing movie room. Anyway, so I wanted to watch some movies, and he is a movie collector, so he gets them as they come out. So he had the new Wonka movie. I absolutely recommend it. I absolutely love it. If you love musicals, it is so good. So good. But you have had to see the Gene Wilder one first because there's a lot of references from the original um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So you got to watch that one first. Not the Johnny Depp one because that's like a totally different story. Um, I mean, they're similar, but this musical is based off of the original one. Um, totally loved it. But yeah, I couldn't help but sing the Candyman Can song in that one. Here is, I believe this was November or I think this was November's. And then Sneak Peek. Here is this month's in the, uh, I think I posted this on my Instagram, but this, yep, yeah, in the pet store. Um, I don't remember which one this one was. Let's see, we have the Christmas one and the Halloween one. So that's a fun one. Uh, sea of Colors. This one is hosted by Amanda from Amanda Colors. Um, this one will be hunting for pages. Because this is a this is by Angela Gonzalez and it is a big book. Lots of pages. This is probably the, my favorite one I've done in here. I have a hard time with this um, paper. I don't know why because I don't have a hard time with other Amazon printed books. I think the lines are too thin. I really think that's the that's the issue. I like this colors. I know I have a very What's it? What am I thinking? I've lost my train of thought. Yeah. And I am sorry my videos have been off track. Someday I will get caught, caught up. Um, I had a procedure done on Friday. Eventually I will talk about it, but I'm not ready yet. Um, so I have been in bed. Yeah. And so it's caused me to be behind. I'm a little behind in my coloring, but not too bad. I will get it done. We've done quite a few pages in here. A lot more than I thought. I like this one too. I think that's it. 
And then this is sneak peek. That's this month's page. But yeah. Like I said, all of these um, lovely people have YouTube channels. And then the last one that I am involved in. Um, and there's others. There are many others. But um, if I did all of them, plus all the buddy colors that I do, I would never get to do anything just with myself. So... You'll see, we have a big stack still over here. This is Tropagoth by Carla Magana. This one is hosted by Christina from Christina's Art Corner. She picks a page out of this book each month. This is my Think Outside the Box book. Um, this is where I use mediums I wouldn't normally use and I'm trying to use anything and everything glitter. So lots of glitter on all my pages. Fun. There's my hidden Mickey. Love it. See how shiny? This is my favorite one. I really like the way it looks. And then sneak peek. This is my, um, I was going with Wilma, Wilma Friends, Flintstone, but she is all white with red hair. Um, and this one has the zebra print, so I decided to go black and white. And then this was supposed to be red. Um, it's a red Ohuhu metallic paint pen, and it turned out pink. So I gave her some silver highlights. But it's very sparkly. There's this one. I think that's it. Nope. One more. This one, she's way sparkly too. So yeah, I'm having fun. This is my one and only Carla Magana book. I'm enjoying it. So maybe when I finish this one, I might just have to get another one. All right, the next one are my 10 books to complete eventually or project books. This one is a group buddy color um, on Instagram. If you have this book and you'd like to join us, um, love to have you join us. Uh, let me know and I will add you to the group. This is the Disney's ABC book. Um, in case you didn't know, I do a letter each month. I have an ABC color challenge and I pick a letter and then we do that letter out of this book, but any, you'll have to see it. the video it tells you all about, um, what it is, how it works. All of that fun stuff. If I can, I will put a link to that video in the description box below. So, here we've done so far. We've done Aurora. Um, all of the letters are washi tape. Well, this one's not. This is Stickles. <laughs> we've done Sleeping Beauty. Cinderella. Donald and Dumbo, Daisy and Eric, we got Bambi or Fawn, here we have Gusto from Ratatouille and here we have Hero from Big Hero 6 and Hercules or as they call him Hercules. I for Iago. We've got Jasmine, Kristoff, Alice in Wonderland. We're doing M this month, um, which was the Mickey and Minnie page. I don't have it in here, so you have to wait to see that one. We've done Mulan and Nemo. Oliver, Pinocchio, Quasimodo, Russell and Rapunzel, Tiana, Tigger, Ursula and Vanellope Von Sweets, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Isma. 
Zerg. And then there's number ones, which I'll probably do at the end. Um, we've already gone through the entire alphabet, and um, I've had people ask me to keep going. So I started over. I pick letters at random. I'm, I don't go in order. So for the month of March, it's the letter M. The next one is, I'm just starting, well, I'm just starting some of these. Um, this is Silhouettes uh, by Hatchet Hero, Disney Silhouettes. Um, if you're new, um, they do not come separate. They are flip-up books, and they do fall apart. Um, the more you color in them, the more they fall apart. So I put them in these display books. I will put a link to these in the description box below. But this is Silhouettes, and I am going to be doing this book with Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. Um, we are just starting this month, and we are doing Mulan, and if we have time, Donald. But let me show you the ones I've already done. I've done Wally, -E. Wally, -E. Pocahontas, and Tinkerbell. Hers are amazing. She's done a few. Absolutely love them. Goofy. So we got to catch up with each other. That might be it. Nope. Oh, Tiana. And that one's probably it. Yes. So that's what I have done so far. I do love these books. They are very, very small details. So it is not easy. I'll tell you that right now. You end up using a lot of gel pens to get into the small areas. Not alcohol markers. Because those bleed. Alright. Let's get into little books here. We'll zoom in. This is Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. This one is a full book um, project book with Amanda from Amanda Colors. And we've done, we do two to three pages a month. We started out doing two. We are now doing three. So we will have it finished faster. I really enjoy coloring Hannah Lynn. Okay, she's got some, looks like glossy accents, it is. She's very sparkly. Oh, sneak peek, there is this month's. This was February. Oh, this is this month's. I'm getting sneak peeks. Here we've got Little Red Riding Hood. So cute. I like this one. Oh, here's the other one. That's this month's. My tags are falling off. I like this one we did last month too, I think. Look at her wings. It was either that or January. This was a fall one. I think this is my least favorite one in the whole book. Her eyelashes are out of control. <laughs> But yeah, that's Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. I have Reptiloids 2. I have completed Reptiloids 1. And this is with my friend Rosa on Instagram. Um, I have colored a few. I colored This page I had already colored before we started. Um, we've got, this is Sneak Peek here. 
this month. I used the same color palette, I think, on all of them. We picked two pages each month. I love that one. And then last month was the first month we colored in here. And we did this one. And we did the one in the boat. See, it's further back. This one. Took her on a date on the boat and she is not happy. <laughs> so that's Reptiloids 2 by Vasile Seiko. Here we have Disney Portraits. Um, I am basically done with this book. Um, I, for this month, I did all of the title pages. So you'll get to see those. Um, I used Distress Inks on all of them. Um, I love this book. I would like to get another copy. Yes, I would. But I don't need one. Isn't he just the cutest? I just love Dumbo. This will be like the first coloring book I've completed on my own. Like not as a um, full book color along. Well, I did some aura, what are they called? Advent calendar one. She's so cute. I think there's only one page in here that turned out that I don't care for. This is with pastels, so I'm keeping this in there. Because, you know me, I didn't I didn't fix it. Or, yeah, put fixative on it. And don't ask me how that happened. I don't know. Somehow glitter got on there. Isn't that sad? I don't really care for the how I did that one, but that's not the one. It's this one. Her skin. I don't like how it turned out. All streaky. I like this one. See all my hidden Mickeys? Are you guys finding them all? Some of them have them, and some of them... Oh, nope, they all do. I like this one. Um, this glitter comes off, so that's why I have that there. Same with that glitter. So I don't get glitter everywhere. So I just cut them to the size so they don't fall, come out. I wasn't too happy with how he turned out either. And I wasn't happy with the background of this one. Dante. Nobody's guessed so far the song I asked you guys about in the last video. What movie it was from. Disney movie. I'll give you a hint. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you gotta go back and watch that video. It has a bear in it. It has a snake in it. It has monkeys in it. That's all I'm gonna give you. Those are big hints. Very big ones. So I now have all the title pages done. So now all I have left to color is Aurora, Pocahontas, and Vanilla Pecan Sweets. I'm not coloring these in the back. 
to I will have a completed book. Is that so exciting? I'm excited. All right. The big one. The one that sometimes stresses me out each month. This is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Joanna Basford. There is a group of us that are coloring this book from front to back. It originally started with just Amanda from Amanda Colors and I. Now there's a bunch of us. So, yeah, we have started from the very beginning. What movie does that remind you of? Let's start at the very beginning. I can't sing since I've been sick. It doesn't work out. But it's a very good place to start. When you read, you begin with A, B, C. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. It's one of my absolute favorite movies. I love that movie. So, comment below if you know what I'm talking about. That's two movies. But you have to see last the last yesterday's video to get the reference to the first one. I loved these. This I think this is my favorite pages so far. Some of these I wish I could go back and do over, but who will? Like this one, the butterfly smeared. That's the one downfall of the link pens. They take forever to dry. So if you're not careful, they will smear. Like you can see some of the black over here from this, the link over here. And I don't think that would help if you put a fixative over it. I really don't. But I could be wrong. This one. Oof. Yeah. These ones aren't so bad. I was a little stressed over this one. This one wasn't so bad. Except for I don't know how I got black ink all over the place. Oh yes I do. There's I'd use the link and the flowers, the dots. This one was fun. I enjoyed this one. I like how this one turned out. This one was scary. <laughs> that was a lot of flowers. So you know, I don't like coloring flowers. In case you didn't know. This one wasn't too bad. I enjoyed this one. It's very sparkly. You can't see it, but there's a lot of glitter down here. This one is last month's. Lots of uh, treasures. And then here is your sneak peek for this month. Now, the scary thing. Are you guys ready for it? I'm like totally not looking forward to April at all. You guys ready? Oh my gosh! We do uh, both pages each, you know, the double page spread. I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> I prefer, I would rather color this than this. So you guys know. Let me know if you think I'm weird. I'm going to have to pick like a color palette and stick with certain colors, I think. And yeah, it's a lot of jewels. I'm not the best at jewels. Anyway, that's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Um, this one is the Beyond Fairy Tales by Erie. This is a project book with my friend Jess from Coloring Bumblebee. There used to be three of us, but now it's just Jess and I. And she has a YouTube channel. She just started it. So you guys gotta go check her out. Go give her some love. It's Coloring Bumblebee is her channel. Let's see, we have done Cinderella. We've done Sleeping Beauty. We've done 
Rapunzel. I want to say this is the first one Jess and I did together. We've done this one. With my famous color palette. Everybody knows it's me when they see those colors. This one with Snow White and Rose Red. Let's see. We have The Little Mermaid. We have uh, Jasmine. Alice in Wonderland. This one we are doing, as you can see, I haven't finished it, done it yet. This is this month's. Um, we've done The Wizard of Oz. It's my favorite page in the book. It's always sad when you color your favorite page and then you're like, oh, man. So that is Beyond Fairy Tale by Eerie. This is one of my 10 books to complete. This is Country Chibis by Alexandra Franzis. I've done quite a few in here. Um, this one I use mostly alcohol marker. I don't do a lot of, uh, I do a lot of straight coloring in this book. Sneak peek. That's this month. She's singing in the rain. It's another one for this month. Mary had a little lamb. She reminds me of Anne from Anna Green Cables. And I love how I did her gloves and her boots. Pat myself on the shoulder. <laughs> clouds to this one. Are you guys finding all my hidden Mickeys or am I flipping too fast? There's my knitting grandma. Is it knitting or crocheting? One of them's one needle, one of them's two. Let me know in the comments below. Because you can tell I don't do either one. As always, I'd go. We're gonna go this way. And it yellow. Okay, can you guys see the yellow? This pumpkin yellowed my page. Sad day. I like this one. I did that to her shirt. It was just a plain shirt. Not sure I like it. I liked the gloves and the um, shoes better in the other one, but I this I had barely had stickles. So it's like one of my first stickle experiences. Oh, see that one yellowed too. Can you guys see that? It's the black. Yes, yeah, the black. The yellowing's all the way through. I did this one. That's it. So that is Country Chibis by Alexandra Franzis. We have Benny Blue by Christina Karen. Um, I actually colored two in here already this month. Um, this book is almost done. This is on premium Amazon paper. All of her books are. She's one of my favorite illustrators and I love Benny Blue. I think he's the cutest thing ever. Sneak peek. I did Elvis, and he's very sparkly. And I love this little curl here. Uh -huh. He's got a hamburger, an apple, a cupcake, and it says juice, but I, in my brain, it is milkshake. Here's your Easter one. He's all tangled up. Mm 
Here's another one that reminds me of a movie. Same actress is in this movie as is in the last movie I was singing the song from. Which is one of my favorites. This was the very first one I did. This is before I owned alcohol markers. So it is all pencil. He's, he got a little bright. He got lots of owies. This is last month's. I didn't want to cover up the title of the page. He got a little dark. He got he had too much sun in this one. Because suntan. Oh, he's sick. Poor Benny. No night. He's gonna fly away. Do 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 Batman. And I don't know why I gave him my lashes, but I did. So I have this one to color. That's it. That is it. And then the freebies in the back. So we have Foxy Lady. I did this one. The flowers on the, around the outside is a washi tape. It was a challenge. I'll just tell you that. And we got Whimsy Fairy. And the bird Christmas. And I'm done. This book. And then we'll start Benny Blue 2. We have Magic Jars by Coloring Book Cafe. This one is a full book buddy color for the Facebook group I co-host with Amanda. We pick a page out of here each month. Um, and Coloring Haven came out, Heaven, not Haven, came out with a um, jars book. And I believe it is all of these pages. So you guys know. Isn't she cute? I colored this one for Amanda because she does the hanging of the laundry outside. We don't do that here. Well, at least I don't do that here. I've never done it in any house I've ever lived in. We should though, because it is sunny here most of the time. I don't know why we don't. We don't. Maybe it's because it's bad air quality here. I don't know. Not that that affects your clothes. I don't really know. Oh, that was a sneak peek, by the way. That's this month. I made my dragonflies very sparkly. We did my favorite one last month. This was the very first one we did. We did this one in the fall. Or the fall for me, not for Amanda. I think the fall for them is our summertime. No, they're going into fall right now. So, so our spring is their fall. They're just finishing summer. I'm still getting to my favorite one. Damn. This is it. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Look at him. I had two favorite pages in this book. My other favorite. Of course, I'm not going to find it. It's the elephant page. Here it comes. This one. I so love this page. And then I think that's it. Nope. Just kidding. We did the very last page. The gnomes. We did this one for Christmas time. So that is Magic Jars by Coloring Book Cafe. We've got Gnome Sweet Gnome by Teresa Goodridge. This is one of my 10 books. So this is not a project book with anybody. This one's just me.
a lot of my 10 books to complete eventually have turned into project books. Oh, I have one saved. Home is where the gnome is. I saved that one to do. I don't know if I'm going to get to this book this month. Oh. Unless that's a buddy color, but I don't think it is. It's my favorite page I did in here. My favorite color scheme there. It's so cute. The Mystery of Mushrooms. No place like Gnome. <laughs> That's funny. It's a gnome's life. This one. I think this is funny. Just so you know, I decorate my house as gnomes in it. I love these gnomes. The cute gnomes. I like the gnomes with no eyes. I'm not a fan of the other kind. So that is Gnome Sweet Gnome. By the way, her brand new book, which is Garden Gnomes, I believe, comes out on the March 20th. I'm excited. I don't ever pre-order. I'm one of those. I don't never do. Um, I don't know I'm bad. This is Mini Mania by Gabby Wolf. This one is a project book. And I didn't write it down. I believe... It's addicted to coloring, so sorry. I'm going to get to it right now. I will tell you. Oh, I'm so good. I'm right. Addicted to coloring here on YouTube. And we've only colored one page so far. This one is a full book. Buddy Color 2. Or a full book color along on the channel. And I believe it is with, um, we've done this one so far. Which was the one for last month. I think Coloring Bumblebee is the host for that one. But don't quote me on that. It has two sets. It's got the light gray with the black back and then the dark line art. We're doing the sewing page. 50 Farmer's Miniatures. This one I have been working on for a long time. This one is one of my 10 books to complete. Um, but I also color in it every month with Erica from Elm Colors because it's one of hers also. Um, but I wouldn't call it a project book. We just are helping each other out. I've done over half. I know that. I love how this one turned out. Um, I used one of Erica's tutorials to do that one. This is one I've been wanting to color for forever. Oh, I'm skipping the ones I've colored. <laughs> Go back. Go back. I did them too dark. I should have done them more of a gray, not black. This is the one Erica and I are doing for March. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I try to do fun backgrounds. Hers always looks amazing, so I always feel like I need to go over and beyond with mine. <laughs> Which I like. It's a challenge. This is my least favorite one I've done. I like this one. Here's the one. Um, I had somebody send me this. That's, um, take a picture of theirs. Send it to me because I ruined it. I don't know how to fix it. Pencils, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty bad. Here's the mole. I love this. They're so fun. So cute. Sweet ponies. 
Mr. Rooster. He reminds me of the rooster from um, Robin Hood. You know, he's the one that sings the songs, the narrator. This one has got lots of stickles, so it's crinkly. I like that one. This one I drew in the fence. I drew it in myself. So proud. I didn't like how this turned out. I did the um, Christmas lights on my own. But yeah. I don't know what happened. Here's my turkey. This washi tape is sticky on the outside. Not sure why. It was a set I got at uh, Hobby Lobby. This is one of the first ones I did in this book. I'm learning how to use the alcohol markers. This poor face with a line in the middle of it. I love this one. Mother hen. Oh, look. Oops. Mr. Goat. I think that's it. That is it. So that is 50 Farmer's Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova. Um, then um, when that one is done, this one was going to be my next one, but I had somebody reach out to me, my friend... Steph on Instagram. I believe she has a YouTube channel also, but I'm not sure it is active currently. But this is going to be the next one, and she reached out and asked if we could start it now, and I said, of course. Um, but I had already colored a few pages in here before we started. This is the first one. Isn't cute? I, I'm a dinosaur fan. I like dinosaurs. This little foot and a little foot's mom. And Sarah, I've done Sarah. You just have to find her. I haven't done very many pages any, as you can tell. This was one of a uh, spicy cat colors, one of her uh, spicy cat buddies. She picks a camellia page, I think. There's Sarah. Three horns. Never play with long necks. By the way, I found the movie. You can watch it on YouTube. Yep. And I watched it. And it is so, so very sad. So this was our first page we did together. I did this one last month. And then we're coloring the Easter dinosaur this month. I will get to it, I promise. I've got lots of days. So that is 50 prehistoric miniatures by Camille Jacoba. This one is a project book with my friend Ilvin. She is here. Um, it's Ilvin's Coloring on YouTube and she's also on Instagram and this is totally out of my comfort zone um, so we've done one page in here so far I actually ordered this one she said can we will you color in this book I just, and so I ordered this one just to color with her I did not have this one we did this one in February and then we are doing this one for March. I'm excited. I'm going to do it kind of St. Patrick's Day like. I already got hers and she did green hair. I know that's um, a hashtag out there. Green hair, green lips, something like that. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
I think I'm going to do a green dress. I think she's going to be a blonde. I don't know. I don't really know. It'll happen, though. That's by Christine Karen, by the way. <laughs> Lost and Found by R.J. Hampson. This one, I believe, is also, and I don't have it written down, of course, another book, fun book. Let me see. I do have it written down. Not in the book. This is with my friend Claire. Let's start from the back. Let's see what I've colored. Oh, I think I, I colored it back here. Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Maybe it wasn't this book. One of the books I colored about black. But anyway, there's two sets in here. And I have colored the Narnia page. I think this was a buddy color with um, coloring with K. Um, we are coloring this one this month. We colored this one last month. The Wizard of Oz. Do you like my Emerald City? It's very sparkly. I think that's it. That's all I've done. And I got the new book, by the way. So excited. Nice Little Town 6 by Tatiana Bogimastilova. This one was one of my 10 books. And I have a friend, Brandy. She reached out and um, has been coloring in this with me now for quite a while. She also has a YouTube channel. Like I said, I will mention all of the uh, YouTube channels that I meant. I will mention all of the YouTube channels that I mentioned in this video will be in the description box. This video is getting too long. So very sorry. It's kind of like a completed pages video. We're almost done. And when we're done with this, we're starting number 10. I like this one. This is this month's. As you can see, I have a lot to color. <laughs> this is my least favorite one. I also don't I don't like coloring flowers or food. So you guys know. This is one of my favorites. I like this one too. This one, he is taking a shower outside. I love it. This one, I actually used acrylic paint pens over the lines. I like this one a lot. This is the very first one I colored in this book. And I was not happy with it. I believe it was a color along with... Um, Jamie, Jamie's coloring love. I think it was some hashtag that she did. There's the opera house. This is my absolute favorite. Um, I so love how the frame turned out. So yeah, I think we only have like five pages left. But that's a nice little town at six. Uh, Broken Circles 2. This one is a uh, project book with my friend Jenny from Jenny's Pages here on YouTube. And we are doing the Wizard of Oz page. And um, as you can see, I haven't done that one yet. We colored. I will find it. It's towards the beginning. I'm not sure if this is Mary Had a Little Lamb or Lobo Peep. I'm thinking it's Mary Had a Little Lamb because that's a schoolhouse, but I'm not really positive. But there is Broken Circles 1, 2, and 3. The first one is a little bit of everything. The second one is Fairy Tales. And the third one is mostly Winter and Christmas. Uh, Le Grand Classics Tomb 3. This one is with my friend Sammy from One A Day Sammy on Instagram. And a lot of these I've already done. Um, so she's playing catch up. I use paint pens. 
either Ahuhu or Tule Art. I don't know, people ask me that every time I show my Disney Color by Number books. So fun. No, this is not with Sammy. This is wrong. I'm wrong. I'm so sorry. This is with my friend Laura from Laura Cat Color. So sorry, Laura. And we have done all of these pages together. Um, we've been coloring in these books for a while now together. Those are marches. This one I was a paint. This was with Arctic's paint. And you can see they're streaky and they are transparent. How do you do? Shake hands. That's the 80s version. You guys seen the 80s musical Alice in Wonderland? And Through the Looking Glass. It was made for TV. Has some pretty big actors and stuff in it. Oh, I like how he turned out. Creepy too. I think the the most creepy part in the whole movie is when the white witch turns into um, a lamb or something and she's like, better, much better. It's creepy. Creepy, creepy. You can see my progress. I mean, uh, these are like some of the first ones I did. You can see how blotchy and stuff are. This is with a, the background is with an, uh, water base marker. This is paint, but I don't know what I used. I think I used my Mondalamas or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, compared to that, I mean, it's like flawless. She is done in gel pen, all gel pen. She's not, but the glitter has moved from here to here. And the stickles have like vanished because her whole leaves were her whole leaves, <laughs> her whole um, wings were covered. So that is tomb three. Again, sorry, Laura. Tomb two is with my friend Tammy, um, Ice Angel on Instagram. And I believe we are starting from the beginning. So we are doing number two. And she has done already pages one through 15. So I have catching up to do. So I'm doing page two and page 17. Because I'm behind. I'm that far behind. Oh, well, I've done these. I've done these two. So I'm not that far behind. So we did... 16 so we did 15 this is uh, might have been December January February and we'll do this is March and then I have some others we've got Mr. Tomater he's with um water base markers and oops good old Mickey he is also with water base markers Queen of Hearts. She stole those tarts on a summer's day. Oh, we got TikTok and Tinkerbell. Um, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. And that's it. So that's tomb two. And then tomb one is with my friend Sammy. One a day Sammy. Again, I'm sorry that I the mix up. And we are going to be going from the beginning to end. So I already have one and two done. I believe we did this one. Two was February's. And I have, let's see what I have already in here. I have Ursula done. And Pinocchio. Chef Louis. Les Poissons, Les Poissons. <laughs> Oliver.
Oh, and Joanna from Rescuers Down Under. And James from Treasure Planet. Not one of my favorite Disney movies. That is two and one. And then last but not least, we have this lovely giant monstrosity. Let's see if we can zoom out a little bit more. This is a group buddy color with my friend Claire and Sophie. Uh, Sophie is here on YouTube, um, Claire and Instagram, and Claire is on Instagram. Sophie's coloring journey is her name. But we are completing this one, so we will start from the back. We've done uh, Nick and Judy. We've done this uh, Aladdin or Jasmine. Whoa. We've done these two. It's hilarious to me. We did Nemo. I love coloring in this book. Sneak peek. This is this month's. We're doing um, Mufasa for my letter M. We did The Incredibles. We did Frozen. We did Russell and Zaniki. I think that's it. That is all we've done so far. And that is Disney's Vitro Tomb 1. So there is a second one. It is a hardback. Really big, nice, big book. And that is all I have. That was my quarter update. So I will do this again in June for my um, mid-year update. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I so enjoy making these videos um, and talking to all of you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I love getting comments. See if you know what movies I was talking about on all of those things I was uh, hinting at. Um, let me know if you made it all the way to the end. If you made it all the way to the end, put in a um, music note emoji. Music note emoji if you made it all the way to the end. Yeah, again, if you're new, welcome and thank you for sticking all the way through. Don't forget to hit that, set that subscribe button. But yeah, again, don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below. Love making these videos, talking to all of you. And I look forward to talking to you all real soon.